mistakes, right? You just laugh with yourself and act yourself all the time. Here you'll see the slow motion splashing back into the tank. Now, I'm glad the audio's not working because there's some dumb people. This was not a happy moment for me. Um, that said, I caught him four hours later. So either I'm really good or that fish I'm so smart. So, but this is so just a public message about what fish to buy for your tank and realize how large they can get. Um, you know, this is dinner. This is what was it? But we couldn't have it. Uh, he now resides in a shark tank. So, uh, but yeah, so be careful with your fish choice. And again, if you have a lot of fish, make sure you have good water flow. What type of tank was that? Um, I think it's not Blotchai or Sorry, uh, you said rice. It's in that, in that group. It's, the one I can never remember. I should probably put it on there. So. <laughs> um, but but why do we care about flow? Well, one is water flow for the corals. Uh, most corals are sessile vertebrates. They just wherever they are, that's where they are. So they need food delivery. They need waste removed from them. They need gas exchange. Uh, you want your corals to have the proper growth form. You want them to kind of look like they look this way. And uh, people like to go ooh and ah. Uh, so during the daytime when the sun's out, if you don't have a lot of flow, you're going to have this huge corals. We all know how mucusy corals are and slimy. Um, with no flow, they get a big boundary layer built up around them with the mucus, and actually even the water around them just kind of gets a little stagnant. So oxygen uh, can't really get out. And so you get strong flow, you get good gas exchange. And then the reverse is true at night. The corals kind of want some oxygen. And they're respiring because they're animals now, and they want oxygen and they want CO2 to get out. So, yep. Strong flow, no flow. Put a gallon flow or something with strong flow, like no flow. I mean, what do you, you, yeah, you know, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's really a hard thing to quantify because it's a uh, shape of the tank. It's uh, how much rock work is in there, what the size of the corals are. And what you start with in the first year is not going to be good enough in three years that the corals grow. So, yeah, it's um, in the old days.